Okay, we're back. Uh, we're just uh, finishing up the Hurricane Pirate matchup. And uh, you know, we talked about the Pirates getting back into the race now. Um, I mean, really, for all intents and purposes, the, 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 the Hurricanes are probably going to have to run the table uh, in the second half of the year. Yeah. You know, uh, a shot of maybe even 7-1. and one. Uh, I mean... Um, to get back into it. I it, mean, there's it, just major chaos within the structure of that organization. Major right chaos. Now. The team is not getting along that well with each other. We heard that after only week two. Uh, then we heard they're starting to get along a little bit better, not as much controversy. Uh, then we heard the whole team's on the trading block, right. but they didn't make a move. Right. Um, so, I, I don't know. Their, their games are being blocked out. Their fans are not showing up. Yeah. And... Uh, and they're avoiding the media. I mean, the DT was never turned away a microphone. He's <laughs> not talking to the media this year. Um, so they're obviously holding back a lot of things. Uh, Elias is really the only bright spot on that team, uh, having uh, you know his usual uh, good numbers. Is he getting to the field okay? The oh, yeah, 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 Brooklyn, yeah. All he that. has a car now. Okay. He has an easy pass. He has a Very good. So it's all working. <laughs> Sammy Tal having an off year. Uh, Gindi, actually, you know, obviously not uh, what he's. By the way, Sammy Tao had a great postseason last year, yeah. but during the regular season, he was not good last year. Yeah. And now this is now uh, two years in a row. Um, so you know, he's got to lead that team. I mean, he's the captain. He's power hitting first baseman. He's batting two eighty uh, with no extra base hits, seven singles. Yeah. So uh, Sammy, this is your last chance. You're one in seven now, right? Yeah. One in seven. I mean, yeah, they they got to. You and know, the, rip off a few sweeps in a row here. Like Sammy Tal likes to say, in his 25 year career, he's never missed a postseason. So, well, <laughs> <laughs> it's always the first. <laughs> this is going to be the first. He makes it this year. This is going to be one hell of a, a comeback. It'll be a great uh, yeah. story just to get in. Uh, I uh, mean, I think the story right now is the Pirates are now only one sweep away from being 500. Oh, yeah. And they don't, it's no panic. They could even split this upcoming oh, yeah, yeah. week. No, they have, uh, They're always just a sweep away from being 500 right, now. So, right. so uh, no, no, yeah, they still have a, you know, half a season to go. And uh, so the Pirates, and I'll tell you, they, they have a very, very solid team. It's the first week also they had all, you know, all 12 guys showing up. So, um, yeah, we faced them without Jordy. Yeah. Next team faced them without. Uh, oh, they played know, with nine guys. When we they played with nine guys. Year. That was not against Amiibo last week. Um, you know, so yeah. the, the Pirates are now, it doesn't matter how you get into the playoffs, yeah. just get in. You, get in. you know, you can't even think about a bye, because sometimes it works against you. Uh, so let's get to uh, the next matchup, which was over at um, at Fireman's uh, Field. Uh, was this by the Firehouse or, or no, Fireman's West? No, this is West? by the official uh, field, postseason field. Beautiful. The YMSL. Great. Always yeah. a treat to always, play there. Always, always standing room. It's just an incredible uh, field over there. Uh, so we had the White Sox at uh, two and two, and uh, the White Sox two and two versus um, versus the Braves, Jeffrey Saka and the Braves. No, he does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> against the Braves that were coming in at one and five, mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, you, you talk about a must must win situation. The Braves were in dire straits. And what amazing is that Jeffrey Saka is probably pitching better this year than he did in the World Championship year of last year. Yeah, I mean, Jeffrey Saka has not skipped a beat. He's he's dominating every single week. Um, now, game one, he didn't dominate. He gave up 10 runs in game yeah. one. Um, by the way, the White Sox, th th these two teams ended up splitting. The White Sox are 4-0 and in game one, 0-4 in game oh, two. that's interesting. They split every week, wow. and they won the first game every single week. Actually, they're 3-3 and three now. Are they 3-3? They and three? Already, yeah. No, they have the bye. So 3-0 yeah. and yeah. and 0 and 3. It's an unbelievable stat. Um, so, Saka dropped game one. But actually, I heard he pitched pretty good, actually. Uh, I think the defense let him down, but I don't, you know, I think... Uh, you know, he pitched pretty decent, but... Um, the quotes I got from both Braves and White Sox were, a comedy of errors, a complete circus in the outfield. Uh, I don't know. And, for I, which team? We're talking for the Braves. About. It sounds like now, game Braves one... the strength is, was the outfield. That's I know. Not, I don't know what happened there. I, I mean, it's it's shocking to me. This this team is supposed to be very good defensively. Yeah, Irwin and A.B. out there in the, in the outfield and uh, Solly S. And, and then in the infield, I heard even Steven Batesh is not having a great year defensively. He's usually yeah. automatic with the glove. Um, so I don't know what's going on there, but in game two, Jeffrey left no doubt yeah. about it. Um, he got a Mars Harari home run to lead off yeah. the second inning, the and character. that was it. Yeah, Mars Harari missed the week before, so that was a big loss for this team. Uh, 
And they needed that game badly. I mean, that was almost a whole season right there. So Jeffrey really willed them with that one nothing victory. A one nothing victory in YMSL is very, very yeah. rare. Yeah, uh, you got the home run in the second inning. Yeah. Um, so, they, you know, they gave him a little a breathing room, uh, gave him a little pulse, you know, for, the, yeah. for going forward. But um, I'll tell you, the Pirate, uh, the White Sox, I got to give them credit. Uh, I, I, we were, I was down on them, certainly, before the year started. I didn't think too much of them, but... JT having a ridiculous year. Ridiculous. I think he's over batting over 700, yeah. Uh, but their offense has been pretty good, but we got to talk about a, a major injury. Obviously, we talked about Ralph Hannon yeah, for and three weeks. But now Saban came up with a, with a back injury. Now, now I heard he fell down on the plate after, after a swing. First, he heard it in the field, I believe. I'm not sure. But then he took a swing later in the game and just didn't even run the play out. Was in major pain, fell right on the floor. And... Uh, I don't know if he's going to miss time or not, but it certainly seems like it. Well, yeah, rumor has it he was home the first couple of days after that, and he was, it was on a flat on his back. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's been a, a recurring uh, back injury or it just happened on the, on that swing. But that is a major loss because now you're talking loss. about your third and your cleanup hitter uh, missing the next two weeks. Uh, right. Now, or, now they're getting Stevie Azer. Stevie Azer, yeah. Who, who's a great, great pitcher, but he does not bat. No, he doesn't bat. You know? Again, you're losing a very good pitcher with a, a cleanup hitter. With a, you know, and to couple that with Saban is, is that's, even if he plays and he's not healthy, that's going to be a problem because if yeah. he doesn't have power, that you know, you that's can't his drive game. The ball. Yeah, the whole thing with Saban is he can hit the ball further than anybody. So that's going to be interesting to see how they. Uh, but they're you know they're sitting at 500. They're right in the middle of it. Um, but they've been hitting Max Sutton, getting big hits. Uh, Sam Harari, um, you know. And David uh, Harari not really uh, having such a good year, but um, but JT, I mean, if he's going to continue to hit like he is, year yeah, two years ago where he won the MVP. I yeah, mean, he just... won the MVP two years ago. Last year he had a down year yeah. on in Minnesota, definitely. Um, but now this year he seems to be you know back to be, back and better than the yeah. MVP JT, batting seven over oh, seven hundred, like we said. And so, you know, when you get in center field, it's just uh, unbelievable center field. Now back to the Braves for a minute. The, these guys, they had to win that game. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. they're one in yeah, seven, yeah. like the Hurricanes. Right now, I can't speak enough about what Jeffrey Sackett did, shutting the team out with those bats. Right. I mean, that's that's a good hitting team, the White Sox, to win that game one nothing. And people from the White Sox told me they never saw Sackett pitch like this. Right now, it might all be for for naught because he's two and six. He's still got to sweep a couple of weeks. Just to get into the playoffs. But. Yeah, I, I mean the problem is that obviously is not Jeffrey I mean, with the offense is just ridiculously weak. I, I don't get it. I mean you look at A.B. Cohen's numbers and Irwin Cohen, they're getting no, no, no production from the top of that. Uh, and and it's it's actually very surprising. Um, and the bottom of their lineup, we spoke about it also, is, yeah. is very slow and very very weak. I mean A.B. Uh, Cohen's only two forty. Or we call him respectable 462. By the way, Elliot uh, El Dongo Antibi got thrown out of game one uh, for arguing balls and strikes. Elliot Antibi got thrown out of Elliot Antibi, yes. He then took his bat. He was on the other side of the fence, so no one was in danger, but he took his bat and threw it against the fence. And uh, no one even had to see the umpire. They all knew he was going to be thrown out. And uh, he got rung up. So El Dongo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Elliot Antibi got thrown out of the Yes, game. he did. Wow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, they got a big lift that Morris Harari came back. Yeah, Thank God. Three for five that. last week. Got yeah. his head a little bit. Right, you know? exactly. Um, so that's basically it. I mean, uh, the Braves still can hold on to a little bit of hope at yeah. two and six. Well, we got to see now where they're going to find some offense. I, you don't expect to see AB Cohen hitting 280 the whole year, so you figure him to get hot sooner or later. I hope so, but it happens. Yeah. JT had a bad year yeah. last year. Uh, you know, people have bad years, and if AB Cohen on this team is going to have a bad year, this team's got no shot. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Uh, and you know, look at them. They don't have that game breaking guy anyway. I mean, AB Cohen no. is not a game breaker type of hitter. They were not a team that had a guy in the they middle of the lineup. They don't have a Malak, somebody can No, someone that can it. knock the ball a mile. No, they yeah, don't have so, that. Uh, uh, it's going to have to be, you know, a lot of scratching. By the way, Jody LeBeau is 0 for 5 this week. Um, Sam Michon, I heard, struggled again in game one, but he's batting 429. Um, I heard he struggled again in the field in uh -huh. game one, so he's not having the best defensive year in the world. Um, it, it's a combination of both lack of offense and lack of defense. Right. they got to get their act together if they want to make the playoffs. Right. So, um, 
All right, so that uh, brings it into the recap. So we're going to look at the uh, schedule for next week and start analyzing what, uh, what some of these teams have to do. Uh, again, Mother's Day this week. Uh, so we're going to be starting a little bit earlier for all the lovely mothers out there. Um, and um, the first uh, game is going to be at Memorial One, which you have the three and five Pirates versus the three and three White Sox. I happen to like this choice for featured game because the Pirates have, you know, they, they got to get at least a sweep here. They have to get at least a split here. Uh, hopefully they'll be going for a uh, sweep. Right. But it's interesting to watch how the Pirates fought last week, stayed alive. Right. And uh, so this is a big, big game for, for Pittsburgh. Yeah. Uh, Pittsburgh now they're going to go up against Steve Azer. Yes. Uh, so, uh, again, uh, uh, this is going to be interesting. Now, I'm, I'm picking uh, the Pirates based on um, really, say, Bond not being healthy. I don't know what his status is, but... They don't have Steve Bonnet, and obviously Ralph Hannon's not there. So it's a major, uh, you know, offensive void that they're going to be having. I'm picking the Pirates to continue their winning ways, and uh, um, I don't know if they're going to sweep, but I definitely think, uh, you know, game one, and, and I could see a sweep, but I'm going to. Um, White Sox. I don't see A's are winning. So I, I think a split. I. Don't. I I think the Pirates get the benefit that it's Azer's first week. Yeah. He'll be a little bit rusty, I assume. But he plays like during the week. He plays, but night, you know. Uh, two the, nights a week, so he's in, uh, he's in game shape. There's only one major league wide NSL, <laughs> Bobby. And uh, um, the Pirates are, you know, they're coming off this, uh, this big sweep. And next week they have a bye. So they want to have a good week right now. Right. They're going to be focused. They're going to have a full team. I'm thinking with the loss of Saban, I'm assuming Saban is not playing. And with the loss of Ralph Hannon's bat, I'm going with the Pirates to sweep, yeah. to become relevant, and to go into their bye week at 5-5. Five and five. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I have to say, if Saban doesn't play, I'm leaning towards a Pirates sweep also. But, uh, you know, it remains to be. I don't think he's missed a game in 20 years. So yeah, he never misses a game. But see, uh, this looked like a real injury, though. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so definitely the Pirates uh, could really, uh, even if they split, they'll, they'll be in pretty good shape. But... Uh, so that should be a very good uh, matchup. It could be a high-scoring affair, also. Uh, if, you know, uh, in Memorial Two, we have the one and seven Hurricanes uh, against the uh, four, four and four, four. Hustle. Um, now, as we mentioned before, Hustle just doesn't matter who they play; they split every week. Um, Until now. Yeah. <laughs> now or not? Are you, are you giving the Canes the game? Are you giving? You know, so I. It looked obviously like a mismatch, but I think they're going to find a way to win one game this really? week. Really? Yeah. One game, and uh, they, they, they won't be able to close them out in two, but they'll win one game, I think, the Hurricanes. I don't think I so. Mean, we're not talking about an awful team here. They just have an awful record. but They have know, an awful uh, record, and Hustle is not going to let the Canes win a game. I don't see it happening. They're, they're very smart. They have issues in the outfield, but they're a very, very good team. Uh, you know, I don't think uh, Jamal's going to let them lose a game to the Canes. Both teams have very weak outfields. Uh, you know, they're, they're, that's definitely the downfall of both teams. So, again, this could be another, uh, you know... Uh, Hustle's uh, not the type of team... Fun. Right, but they, the Hustle's not the type to overlook an opponent or to, yeah. or to downplay them. Jack Jamal will, will have his team focused and saying, right. you got, this is our chance to take two. They've been splitting, 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 now take two, and then if you keep on splitting, you'll be in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, I, I gotta think Hustle is gonna take two here. Again, we'll have to see the status of Soli, you know, uh, Big Soli in that situation. So uh, I'm going with split in that one. Um, now let's go to Five and West, where this is a great matchup. Yeah, this is a, a very big matchup. Uh, all in four and two, coming off a of bye week. Uh, very rested, uh, Maurice Haber with the, <laughs> the rest of his uh, crew, and the four and two Expos. Um, so this is right now both teams tied for third. You have uh, Mikey going up against Leo. Um, oh boy, I'll tell you. I'll tell you that all in offense is very, very, very good. I, 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 I scouted this team out. I spent a lot of time looking at their roster and talking to their previous opponents. Yeah. This is the best team that we've faced so far. Um, their lineup is ridiculous between Jack Abadi, Hammer and Hank, Maurice Haber, Jimmy Malak, yeah. 
AB Dweck, yeah. Zeke Dweck. It's a very long lineup. It's very, very strong. Yeah, even Chucky is hitting nice. Chucky always can come <laughs> through. I mean, I'm telling you, from top to bottom, this team is strong. Yeah. And their fielding is good. Uh, this is the strongest team we faced. So I'm happy that we're playing on Firemen's because the fans are going to be insane on Mother's Day. Um, we're having a Mother's Day promotion. Yeah. Mothers, anyone that is a mother, in for free to watch the Expos versus All In well, this get Sunday the, morning. Uh, Canadian flag pit. Though, yes, right? they yes. will. <laughs> okay. For the first hundred uh, women to show up on Mother's Day, it's, uh, it's very good to, to know. Um, so um, I, I'll tell you. Norman, I hate to say it, but I'm, I, I see the all in sweeping. I think really? Yeah, I think they're uh, they're on a they're on a roll. I think they finally uh, you know their offense is very strong. Um, we got to remember Leo. Last time he pitched, walked a ton of guys, twelve guys, and uh, actually he didn't pitch the last week. Who pitched that week? Bawabe pitched uh, the last matchup, but Leo's back. I think he's going to find his rhythm. I, I think they're going to sweep. I think that lineup is, is very strong. The lineup's very strong. I mean, any prediction you make is a fair <laughs> prediction. We'll see what happens. I surely hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, for, for, um, for. You know, I'm certainly not going to make that prediction. <laughs> uh, but, uh, hey, we'll see what happens. It should be a good game. But both no, that one should be good. I could see a split easily, but I, I don't. Uh, I, I think their offense is way too strong. Um, and the last matchup uh, at Meadowbrook, uh, really not the team you'd want to face with your two and six, man. Oh man, and fighting for your life. Um, but the uh, five and one Bears uh, versus the uh, two and six Braves, and um, I will say this: uh, Jeffrey Sack is going to will them to one victory in this game. I think uh, their uh, their bats are uh, the Bears bats. You know they haven't faced uh, Jeffrey Sack in type of pitching, so they're going to be. Uh, you know, obviously, um, it's going to be a little different than going up against some of the other guys, and I think they're going to be able to muster up a few runs off Nemi to win at least one game. Uh, but I, I see a split in that one. We will now disagree on all four of the matchups because I think this is a slam dunk for the Bears. Really? Um, Jeffrey Saka is great, but you're not going to shut that lineup down, and his team cannot score. I know. But so, I think if they can hit off anybody. And the truth is, uh, the the Bears' defense uh, showed a little, uh, you know, uh, a couple of flaws uh, in, in the infield a little bit. So, um, and Nami, listen, if he can do it, if he can pitch both games, but he breaks down a little bit. So, I I, I see him winning one game. All Nami has to do game. is not give them a bunch of free passes. This yeah. team is not hitting right now. I'm not saying they're bad hitters. They have a lot of good hitters, but they're not hitting right now. Yeah. I think Sam Michon is only is the only really guy that's really hitting. Uh, maybe Irwin, you mentioned that's yeah, a good average, but do, yeah. um, you know, uh, A.B. Cohen's not hitting yet. Maybe he breaks out now. He yeah. has to break out now. You cannot get swept and go to two and eight. You cannot. Then your season's over. So you got to win at least one game somehow. But I don't see it happening. I think it's a layup for the bad news Bears. Well, to continue their winning ways. Yeah, uh, two and eight. So you think the Braves are going to be two and eight, which would really, which would put a nail in their coffin, yeah. I think. Unless they run the table. Yeah, right? they have to run the table. I think the, the way I see it, I think 8-8 eight is going to get somebody into the playoffs. So, Will 7-9 and nine get someone in? That's the question. Did somebody get in last year at 7-9? I, I don't, don't remember. remember. I don't remember who got in last year. Uh, I remember... Well, actually, no. I think uh, the uh, unknowns had to scrape up a victory in the last game of the year to finish at 8-8 eight and eight to get that last playoff spot. But... Uh, so, so there you have it. So we'll uh, we'll see how everything pans out. Uh, I can't believe you take it all in to sweep us. Well, I uh, I don't know. I was very impressed with them the last time. I think the offense has uh, showed me a lot more than I uh, you know. I thought they were a good team. I didn't think they were great, but now um, you know their lineup is, is very good. Their they lineup is strong. To, uh, you know they'll be able to hit Mikey. Um, Mikey's been very tough this year, by the way. Really? He's been tough. He's not giving away free passes. Um, he's hitting the targets, and when our field is paying attention, we we have a very very solid field. Um, but we'll see what happens. I mean, this is definitely the best team we've faced all year. So, yeah. uh, in my opinion, we'll see how it goes. No offense to uh, hustle or and Pirates, all in but... the last game before the break uh, for their bye week had an unbelievable uh, comeback victory in the bottom of the. Uh, Bottom of the seventh down, five runs yes. against the Pirates. So, uh, so that uh, you know, the, the, 
they probably came in a bad week for them, but I, I think they're going to be able to do that all the time and come back and score any time they want. Um, so uh, we shall see. Uh, I would like to wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day. Happy and, Mother's um, Day. We'll start once again. We mentioned we're going to be starting 15 minutes earlier this week, so uh, 9 o'clock start. And um, we look forward to seeing everybody out there. We'll uh, be back here next week. All right. Have a good week. All right. Thank you.